Welcome to the first of a series of videos dedicated to building a Castle Mini 3D printer. This video will focus solely on building the frame. So, this piece right here. So, the frame consists of this extruded aluminum and it's called 1515. Uh, that's because it's 15 millimeters on each side. So, little pulleys up here. There's actually two bearings. These are flanged bearings and they're just sitting next to each other to be the top pulley. And of course on the bottom we have our uh, stepper motors mounted with the gears. These are M3 screws and they are 8 millimeters long. These bottom pieces are 24 centimeters. Then these long pieces are 60 centimeters. The frame pieces, there's three, three uppers and three lowers. So here's a fresh part. just the raw plastic for this part about 17 grams these parts are uh, printed with a little tab on the ends to keep it from warping use a razor knife These parts are pretty tight, uh, especially since my uh, my printer is a little little bit rough. So just needs a little bit of cleanup in here. So this is the bottom corner, also the motor mount. So in figuring out uh, how far out to put this pulley. I've found that for this particular gear, about flush is good here. You can't really tell where the sweet spot is, but if you take one of the upper brackets, this is a lower bracket, you set the upper bracket on, the bearing will be right here in the middle, and this belt will go right in the very middle. So uh, for right now, I'm just kind of eyeballing it and getting it where I think it's right. Going to use an M3, eight millimeters long. And we're going to put a bearing in here. This is actually two little flanged bearings. So I'm going to make some little more room in here. Thank you. 
I sat with it for a really long time. This is barely enough room to get that nut in there. And since I've got a solid belt, it's a really good idea to put this in there before you get everything together. Voila. There's the finished product here. I'm just going to go this way. Alright, I'm going to start assembling the top brace. So this is a M3 times 8. Just get this loose on here. Alright, so this uh, actually just slides on the nut. The extruded aluminum just slides on the nut and it actually locks that nut so you don't have to hold it. You don't want to over tighten these anyway, so it's okay that you can't. It's kind of hard to get in there with a screwdriver, but you can still get it tight enough. You don't really want to get it any tighter anyway because it would crush the plastic a little bit. So, M3 times 8 uh, nut uh, screw in here, and you gotta attempt to put a nut on here loosely so now we need to put this piece in mine are pretty pretty snug I uh, filed them down a little bit I like warming things up a little bit I'm in a cold shop so it Helps a little bit when things are kind of warm. And of course, the little uh, nuts don't always like to lay up, so. <sighs> So here's the frame. The top piece does not go on yet, but it will slide on after you get everything in. Um, the reason you have to keep the top off is if you want nuts in the, these channels so that you can uh, mount things like the extruder or other parts to the thing, you have to mount the uh, end stops up here. So you have to get the nuts and things. So you get everything mounted in there and then you can put the top on. So this is the final piece. <laughs> 